Today I'd like to tackle a somewhat controversial subject in the, well, maybe it's not controversial, it's more sort of like unanimous dislike for two companies, Movement and Movado. Um, actually, part of the reason why I got into sort of this whole um, YouTube was because I did want to have something to say about Movement. I do think that, again, uh, it's a, an incredible story uh, from a business perspective. It's an incredible story in the perspective of how we communicate with one another these days through social media and aggressive social media campaigns. But in the next clip, where I did have to cut and paste, mostly because I had to take apart uh, one of the watches, uh, as you'll see, um, uh, I hope to not just only show on the outside what a lot of these um, uh, watch enthusiasts have shown in terms of quality on the outside, but why I think um, the watches themselves uh, potentially um, lives up to that reputation of not being worth their value. And um, really, if we're in the twenty, thirty dollar price range, sure, why not? But one to two hundred dollars—that's a little bit questionable. So here we go. Okay, so for those enthusiasts out there, please don't cringe. Uh, there is a reason why I'm showing these two watches side by side. <clears throat> I did show this movement watch in a previous episode, but I want to get into a little bit more as to why people truly do love to dislike actually both these brands. And in fact, um, the brand you see to your right, Movado, um, the classic museum watch design, um, has also been relegated on many of watch uh, enthusiasts' top 10 list of watch brands they don't like. Now, Movado is a little different. It does have a very good background and origin. And somewhere along the line, uh, I guess the consensus is they sort of um, went the style of fashion watches. And of course, it would make sense that Movado uh, ended up buying movement uh, in 2018 for quite a large sum of money. But in a lot of these videos I've seen, one of the things um, I do see is, of course, people show the outside, uh, etc., of these watches. And of course, um, you know, you could tell from the uh, uh, bezel to the um, crystal to the crown and the leather material, etc., as to whether or not there is quality in the watches. Um, however, I want to take a little closer deep dive into this. Now, with the Movado, it's actually an automatic. It is not a quartz uh, watch. The movement, of course, is a quartz watch. And again, I have shown uh, both these watches before in my videos. But I want to show a slightly different thing. So the Movado on the right is, uh, of course, from my own personal collection. <clears throat> and um, as you can see, there's probably some nicks and scratches all over it, uh, the way a daily wearer would be. Um, the museum design, of course, is very famous, and many people have seen it before. Um, and um, uh, as you can see, um, there is some scratches uh, reminiscent of a daily wear. Uh, however, uh, that's not the point of this, um, uh, uh, what I want to show. Let's get a close-up of the back. So this is why, this is a, a ETA movement, um, and um, uh, this is why, um, uh, obviously, this watch will be of inherently more value than the movement watch because of the fact that, as you can see, it's a very delicate, intricate mechanism. Now, this is by no means uh, a very expensive ETA movement, but nevertheless, uh, it is uh, one that uh, is much more precision uh, made. Um, and as you can see, uh, the weight, which goes back and forth as I move the watch, it, that is what helps wind the main, I mean, uh, wind the mainspring to store the potential energy, which translates into the kinetic energy that drives the watch. And you can see the balance wheel there oscillating away, uh, making the watch go forward and keeping precise time. Now, uh, this, um, I don't think I can show, let me see if I could rotate it all 360 to show, and eh, it doesn't really show much more. So anyways, I um, wanted to show sort of the uh, parts of the intricacies of a mechanical movement, uh, in this case specifically an automatic movement. Now let's contrast that to the um, backing of the um, uh, movement watch, which as you can see is a solid case back and um, you can't really see the inside. So let's go ahead and take this apart. 
um, and see the difference. And again, a reminder of sort of, uh, even though this is a not a high-end ETA movement in this Mavado watch, it certainly does represent some craftsmanship. So I'm going to put this aside here. So first, of course, we have to go ahead and um, remove the... Um, so you're going to get that out without springing the... There we go. I think we got it. Whoops. And there it went. Well, um, that happens when you're trying to film and uh, <laughs> do this at the same time. Usually this doesn't uh, launch the same way a uh, rocket does. Anyways, um, and now that we have that, what you want to do is identify, and let's take a look here. Usually, again, I do this uh, without having a camera in front of me, so I'm trying to figure out where the little notch is, and um, uh, there it is. There's a little notch on the side here, as you can see, so come in here, and then you, the boom, and then you pop the back off, okay. And here, as you can see right away, a very cheap plastic part, okay? And um, uh, nothing similar to the back of the Movado movement. And um, you can see again, it's a quartz watch, of course. Um, uh, let's see if we get that in a little better focus. There you go. Um, uh, there you go, that's better focus. And um, as you can see, uh, it really does not look like something of high quality. Um, the way you would pop this out is uh, you would insert a little pin of some sort uh, in this area as you're moving the crown out and you just pull the crown out and the whole thing will come out. And then on the other side, what you'll see is that um, it really, uh, it's not a very high quality um, uh, 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 material that isn't the dial as well as um, uh, in any of the uh, hands, uh, etc. Okay, now that we have the back off, uh, let's see if we can take a look at the difference between the two movements of these watches. Sorry about the glare there. And as you can see, this Movado, even though it's not the most expensive ETA movement, that def definitely represents a lot more value uh, or uh, craftsmanship, I should say, to the watch, uh, even though it isn't uh, the highest end ETA movement, or really uh, more of a lower end ETA movement compared to this um, quartz watch uh, made in China. Uh, actually, it's a, a Japanese Miyota movement. Um, the uh, watch itself, I believe, is assembled in China. Uh, and really, this um, again, this movement on the left, the quartz movement. Uh, when I bought this watch, as I said, I the only reason why I felt uh, any value of this to this was because of the fact that I bought it um, uh, on eBay for twenty some dollars um, and um, they said uh, oh not not running may just need a new battery and of course it wasn't running because it needed a new movement and instead of trying to actually take apart the movement in a quartz watch which you can try to do and try to fix um, it was just easier to buy online and I got this Miyota movement for something around eleven dollars and uh, swapped out uh, the uh, uh, um, quartz movement very easily. If you take a look at the insides, really is actually relatively um, inexpensive. It's kind of like um, really taking the cover off of something that you would expect to find something wonderful and beautiful on the inside and relatively simple and plain. And in contrast, even this very straight run-of-the-mill ETA movement on this Movado watch um, is really quite intricate in comparison. And I think that's why a lot of people, uh, and hopefully this video will explain a little bit more as to why um, people think that movement is way overvalued to pay $200 for something like this, where in fact, when it was of course used broken, you know, I got it for $20 on um, uh, eBay, and then the movement itself, um, the mechanism which drives the watch, the engine that drives the watch, I was able to find for $11. Now that's $11 retail, if you can imagine what movement the company can get this uh, Japanese Miyota movement, uh, which is, uh, let's see, uh, it's kind of hard to see, it's a little bit, um, 
uh, uh, there we go. Might be able to make out Jap Japan right there, Miyota, uh, right here towards the bottom here. But anyways, um, this uh, Japanese Miyota movement, if it's retail $11, you know for wholesale, um, uh, it's going to be a lot more discounted. Okay, so now we'll get the backing back on the movement watch. As you can see, the way you want to line it up is um, the stem and the crown is there. I uh, see the backing, there's like a little notch there, so you kind of want to make sure that that's in place. This one probably won't make a difference. There actually has been a watch in the past before where I actually misaligned it, and it was such a snug fit, it cut the stem right in half, and I had to uh, cut a whole new stem. So you do have to be careful about that. And, you know, uh, as you can see, just by pressure alone, it's kind of hard. So you know, usually it's easier just to use one of these presses here. And get it in place. Okay, make sure it's lined up and a little bit of pressure. Put, sounds like I broke something, but no, not really. And that just uh, that's a good nice seal <clears throat> uh, that pops out. See, uh, working away nicely without an issue. So, all right, well that wraps it up, and uh, hopefully that gives a little different perspective as to why Movement uh, is a watch company that perhaps people are overpaying for. But then again, uh, then again um, economy is about supply and demand. And um, if you can convince people to buy something, then that in itself, I guess, begs the question, isn't there inherent value in that? I don't know. I'll let you be the judge. But I just wanted to give the perspective that I think most uh, watch enthusiasts who dislike these companies um, have and what's behind the cover, so to speak. Have a good night.